You are now entering the Who's House podcast. Strap in for the ride. Shout out to the new Danny Slashdro collab. Let's see you got Corey with the key. What's cracking, man? What's, what's cracking lagging, my boy? Hey, man, it's crazy because that's one of my... You got to talk about it, Mike. That's crazy because that's one of my first influences. I grew up listening to Lil Flip Zero, the underground okay. Texas. But then Eminem, I'm not going to lie, he was one of the ones that brought it to the table. Like, okay, you can be white and still be in this game too. Yeah. So he was a major influence, I think, for, for every white kid growing up listening to rap for sure. It's funny. I, you know, I never asked <clears throat> Flip this. Like, did Eminem have any influence to you? Like, back in the, you know, the, the, the Houston class? Classic days where he just said it like zero. You got UGK. Mm-hmm. I mean, the Slim Thugs, the Chameleon is right, the, right, right, right. Mike right. Jones and all. Who? Them. Uh, that, I mean, <laughs> we always say that when you know that's his thing. But now nah, Eminem, man, Eminem inspired me, man. Like I feel like Eminem. You know, when the people ask me who my goats is, I always put Eminem when it, cause it's different categories, right? Like best lyricists, best songwriters. I separate my shit, but Eminem. Like just the way he uses all these syllables and make words rhyme that you didn't even know rhymed and just mm. like he's a complex person and just the way he hustled and put his click on, you know. And then it was creative to have a group of six people, R.I.P. the proof. It was oh, a, yeah. it, it was great D12. to have a group of six people and say, Hey, we're really twelve. We got split personality. So I'm wow. Eminem and I'm Slim Shade, you know. So I, I always looked up to how he moved. I always had love for Detroit. I always passed eight mile. I always was out there, and, mm. you know. So now the cats like Peasy and Babyface Ray, and like, Peasy, like I, I fuck nigga. with them. I fuck with all them. Rev City, you know. So yeah, nah, I'm influenced by Eminem, man. Just the way he did his business, the way his even his skits, how he'll get Paul on there, and Paul will be like, "Hey, man, we're not putting this album out." <laughs> I just think you know it's creative, man. So yeah, I fuck Paul's with Eminem. Paul's funny as hell too, for this real. Year, man. Yo, yo, Corey, man, coming from your background, man, it was, how, you know, how did he infiltrate, like, the whole, like, country mix scene, like, you know, like Eminem? Is is it because of the, the storyline he had? It, it, you guys connected with the story, or was it the lyrics? Or, you know, it's crazy because, you know, me me being coming from, like, Queens, New York, I always used to be like, yo, country is, like, so weird until I, I hung out with Luke Bryan uh, oh, last yeah. Saturday in, in Atlanta. And I was like, yo, this shit is lit. There's explosions. It's like ED, this, 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 this hip hop, trap, EDM, jazz, live, especially live play. I never saw so much instrumental shit. Luke Bryan played the piano, guitars. Man, like, absolutely. Bro, Motor I'm test, going to man. every country show that there is now. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sold. No, that's, that's you know the shit. Man, sure. I did some tours with Jelly Roll and uh, 3 Six Mafia and. It's a it's a dope crowd, man. They was happy to see me. They screamed and shit. And it, it's dope how different genres. You might be like, oh, man, they don't know who I am, but nah, they know you. They That's just jam crazy. they shit that they you know they jam they shit like majority of the time. But they know you, man. So I love that shit, man. That's where the real money hey. is, man. And I'm proud of Jelly Roll. So shout out to Jelly Roll. Classic. He's I a cool brought, dude, man. You no, know, for sure. I Hands brought Corey down. with me when I went. I'm like, well, I'm going to perform with Jelly Roll. Let me bring my country. You got to meet. Yeah. So what's your What's your experience meeting Jelly Roll? Like, you got the cool energy to. Man, yeah, he's real cool. I met him briefly, but I got to chill with like Bunny and everybody backstage. Mm-hmm. Uh, Little White, Three Six Mafia. Oh so my god, a lot of really cool people. When we went. I had a great time. Yeah. No, it, it, it's funny. So, it, did the Eminem lyrics? What was what was about Eminem coming up when you were young? Like, you know, what what was the influence or? What, I think you he like? was just the one. He was just one of the first white rappers mm. that lets you know it was possible. Sometimes, just like with the four minute mile, everybody thought it was impossible until somebody oh. hit it, and then it's like, wow, this this is an opportunity. And just the lyricism, the different storylines. And, you know, some of it was crazy, but I was younger at that time. So when you're younger and it's just, mm. you know, the crazy lyrics, killing people and doing it, it's like, wow, this is really, you know, possible to to be doing this. And I had a background where, you know, my mom, she always loved to sing. So from the time I was little, she had me singing duets with her, Shania Twain and Garth Brooks, that country. And then when I got a little older, I heard Eminem and started hearing some of the underground rap and it's like i fell in love with that so started freestyling and rapping when i was like 12 and then just to combine those two together the different sounds because you know back in the day i used to smoke and if you ever smoke 
then you know you wow. might have your country friends that smoke. You might have your rocker friends, your gangster friends, and we might all be in one big circle just chilling. And so all those different influences have um, have reached me with the music, and I love to merge those together. And I feel like it's that time in society where everything is coming together. I know mm. a lot of people that they'll, in the deck, you might have some hardcore country, then the next song be some Lil Flip, some 3-6 Mafia, mm. all on one tape. So yeah. I feel like it's coming together right now. It's that time. Hey, what's up, man? I'm DJ Who Kid, man, from Who's House. The best part of the football season, you know what that is? That's checking out the post-game stats. Find out which wideout scored more than two touchdowns. Find out which quarterbacks threw far less than 350 yards. You think you could pick who will do what before kickoff? Then play pick six from DraftKings. It's an official daily fantasy partner of the NFL. This is what you're going to do. Download the DraftKings pick six app. You hear me? Select between two and six players. Choose if they'll have more or less of a stat. It's that simple. For all the first time pick six players, check this out. New customers play $5 on your first pick set. Get $50 in pick six credits. Woo! That's a lot of money right there. Well, this is what you got to do, man. Download the new DraftKings pick six app now and use code Who's House. That's code Who's House for new customers to play $5 on your first pick set. Get $50 in pick six credits only on DraftKings pick six. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. We got you. Must be 18+. plus. Pick six not available everywhere, including New York and Ontario. It's just not everywhere. Void where prohibited. Limited time offer. Download the new DraftKings Pick Six app now and use code Who's House. That's code Who's House for new customers to play five dollars on your first pick set. Get fifty dollars in Pick Six credits only on DraftKings Pick Six. The crown is yours. Did that, did that mold that started from the bottom song? That this is where this whole connection came together. Man, yeah, we met at a show and he was like, Hey, bro, I rap, I sing, I do country music, I sell cars. <laughs> I'm like, You do it all, and that's great. And we linked up and I sent him a beat and he came to the studio in Houston. I'm like, What you got? And started from the bottom is what he had. And I, I relate to it because he talked about losing his mother. I mm. lost my mother, so oh, wow. that's a different type of pain. Yeah, and yeah. he was locked up. They would let him go to the funeral. Ooh. He says it in the song. Wow. So, like, we bonded on some real shit, man, and he came to me like, bro, I got my own money. I don't need nothing from you. Just show. All I need is your guidance. Show me where to spend the money. Show me what to wow. do. I'm going to listen, and that's, that's what I'm about now. Instead of signing people, you got to – baby and put oh, all the money up and like, then when shit don't go like they want it it's like you got a kid you end up the villain Ugh. it's like nah i'm finna start fucking with artists they got their own money yeah. so they take it more serious because i feel like this if your money involved you go take it way more serious you go show up to the men of views because guess what that's your money yeah, yeah, yeah you, you gotta take it serious you, you don't want to lose you don't want to lose on your own shit exactly I, you know it's, it's funny you brought that up man I, people always ask me who care why you don't have like your own artist but i'd rather have an artist that got this shit all set up it doesn't have to be money, but it could be like yeah, they got their own fan base. They got their own. I mean, this is this is like a business that you're supposed to know. It's like me. If you hire me to be a DJ, I know everything about DJing. Right. So I'm not gonna like rock Hakkasan or do a festival, mm -hmm. and then you pay me to be there, and then I don't know what the, I don't know what I'm doing. Some of these guys, how are you in the rap business and don't understand like what to do, like promotionally streaming like you know like playlists and stuff what what so you gotta tell me you just rapping and then you want me to do all that shit right like, i it, it's just mind-boggling and then you know it costs like hundreds of thousands to move like records and shit yeah and, and sometimes millions yeah depending they, on and then they like they coming to me with like three thousand i'm like yo bro what are we gonna do with this like right. go, get, go get some g's at louis vuitton and shit mm -hmm. what are we gonna do with this yeah. shit man like three and five you know what i'm saying court digger these motherfuckers is crazy man. <laughs> right <laughs> for real I'm like get out of here man for like real. Wait, get your shit straight and then you come back to me for real I, i'm not like a fucking marketing i mean i am but i'm like the doorway you know what i'm right. saying my dna is so crazy like i know you bun b i mean pimp c i mean i know everybody mm -hmm. in houston man true there's not no the only person i never met was dj screw i finally went to his shop the other day man. and i and, and i took a photo in front of the mural and they took me in the spot yeah you know, i supported i bought like 20 shirts man you know, I, I went ham in there you know what i'm saying so Thank you. I, i've come up like 
like historically through Houston with the mixtape game and the mom and pop stores and all that. Right. Like, I even taught Pimp C how to move mixtapes and stuff like that. That's how old I am. Man, that's dope. <laughs> so if you're a rapper, you coming to me, and you don't know what you're doing, get the fuck out of here, man. Like, no, I feel you. You, you got to hang with legends. You, you, no. You're doing it right, man. Nah, definitely. And, and who kid, man, like, I did a mixtape. Like, he hosted one of my mixtapes called Houston is Mine. Mm -hmm. And um, and then the dope part about it is you put me, like I always commend oh, you yeah. and tell people, you put me on a on numerous G-Unit mixtapes, songs with Snoop. Before, <laughs> before Snoop even did the Game Over remix with me for free. Shout out to Snoop because yes. he didn't have to do that. You put me on some shit with him and Butch Cassidy and so long. So, like, I love it. I, I got to find that song, man. But Yo. I thank you for doing that, brother, because... Mm. You never went Hollywood on me. Like, even when you had a lot of different things going, touring and doing all the stuff with G-Unit, you always was the same who kid, bro. Just like you're not. Like, how we greeted. We ain't seen each other. Yo, it's like, and, we, ne it's like we never, like, yeah. like, split up. Like, it's like back in it. Was back, I mean, yo, For, hey, right back at right it. Right back at <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> like, it <never> Message. <laughs> hey. Yo, another R.I.P. shout out. Uh, R.I.P. Beat King, man. Like, man, that, yeah, that that's came crazy. Out of nowhere. Like, yeah, R.I.P. to Beat King. Yeah, crazy. that shit, it fucked me up, man. I, I didn't even make a post yet because mm. I, I want to just kind of figure out I mean, That's if I'm going to make random. a song or if I'm going to make, you know, I just want to, I don't want to do what everybody else do. I'm going to mm -hmm. eventually make a post. You know, I got a video with B. King. We put on like BET and MTV Jams, but mm -hmm. I never put it on YouTube, right? Oh, wow. But I'm not going to just put it up now just yeah. because he passed, but it will come out, you know, soon. But I got to figure out how, if I want to make, I kind of want to do a record for him, man, because B. King, man, I watched his growth and, it's man, he, he stayed in his lane and... He he performed, man. The crowd, they they screaming that shit. Like he made anthems for the women, man, mm -hmm, and they yeah. scream that shit. And so we definitely go miss Big King, man. That shit fucked me up, bro. And I was gonna call him. Basically, he passed away like two days before I was supposed to call him wow. about doing a show in Dallas, like for this big football game. We was about to book a flipping B King show, so it fucked me up to the point where I'm just like, damn, dog, we this keep losing crazy. people. You, got, you gotta enjoy what you know, right now. Whatever you guys got going on, right. go 100 miles per for hour. Sure. Man, for sure. That's real. what I'm on, though. Every time I lose somebody, yeah. I get way more serious about you my time. To, man. Like, I, I don't I don't have time to waste. Like, you don't have time to even be angry, man. All for this real. angry bullshit, like, you know, it's like, it's pointless, man. It's pointless, man. And this is a guy I talk to every week because he would send me songs every week. He'll tell me, yo, you like it? Yo. Who, B-King? Yeah, he'd be like, man. yo, you fuck with this who kid, blah, blah, blah. Right. And then he was like an avid listener. He would tune in every week, repost. Yeah. Like, that's why I'm talking about being an artist, man. Like, if, if, he, he don't even need to do that. He was like, he was good enough to like, sell out his own shows and he's popping he got classic records correct but he still like waits for my show to come on wait for his song to come on right and then he fucking records that it's on the, it's on the show like these dudes be like yo you playing my record yo when, when right why am I fucking like I'm gonna go back to my mix to find out when your shit played right you, you have your bad play, no man. for you sure Chris these white artists <laughs> out here, man. thank god I know people like you and all the man. other classic dudes man hey. you know, cause there's not a lot of DJs out there that fucks with like like the like the DNA of hip hop you know what I'm saying it's, it's funny you talk about game over I always wanted to understand like did you ever get like in trouble for that shit I remember like uh, back in the days uh, De La Soul in that album, they never cleared it, and they lost so much money. But right. did, did uh, what was it? Did, did Namco sue you for Pac Man? So the great thing about my situation is that beat was provided by a A and R that worked at Sony. Mm -hmm. I've been had said I didn't want to rap to the the beat because oh, so you were against it and, it, and it became a hit. Yeah, I was I was against it and. And um, they were like, man, we want you to rap to it. And what will it take? I'm like, well, they were like, if we give you 15000 will you do it? Yeah, I'll rap to it. But I didn't want to do it because some people Game from where over. I was from. You sold me. They, some people where I'm from, they already had a single on that type of sample. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, I don't want them to think I'm trying to copy them. And then, you know, Benny Siegel had did Mac Man. That's right. Yeah. Right. So I didn't really want to do it because the people in my city had just put out a single on that. So I'm like, nah, I don't want them to think I'm trying to do what they doing. And so they was like, we'll give you 15,000, uh, not 1,500, 15,000. <laughs> yeah, just so they know. Yeah. And then I walked in, they had some Hennessy for me and some trees or whatever. What? I walk in the studio, here's your check. Music, here's some Hennessy. I don't even, I, I didn't even drink liking back then. I didn't get money, man. They don't, yeah. they don't play. They well, give you the money like right there. But guess what I did? Like Hennessy, too. That's the reason why I started Game Over like 
oh shit, y'all done fucked up and let me this bitch. Because I was trying to cuss the first four boys so it couldn't be a single. So I said, okay, if I cuss the first four boys, it's going to be like bleep, oh, bleep, yeah. bleep, bleep, bleep. Man, by the time I got to Houston, they told me they wasn't going to do nothing with the record. I was on the road for like two months, uh, two, three weeks, I mean, two, three weeks, and I was in New York doing runs. Man, by the time I got back to Houston, Number one on the chart, <laughs> on the top ten countdown. And like, y'all told me y'all wouldn't even go do nothing with it, but it worked. So Bro. Sunshine and Game Over were the last two records wow. I recorded on uh, You Gotta Feel Me album. Sunshine, I had been had that record, and I didn't really want to do it because I didn't make the hook up. You see what I'm saying? I'm used to making up all my hooks and so telling the singers. Was it a label that they told you you needed? No, like a, it, like a, my like... old lawyer at the time, oh, okay. he had the record. He managed the producers and, and the, the, the uh, Leah who sung on the shit. So oh, I, I kept turning Leah. both of those records down. I played Sunshine for my grandmother and my mama, and they was like, we love it. They like, why you ain't doing this, baby? Once my grandmother and my mama, God bless their souls, wow. once they approved it, I called them and said, yeah, I'm going to do it. And that was one of the best game over in Sunshine was the best, you know, decisions I made. But with the game over situation, because I wasn't the one that brought the beat to the table, it was mm. brought by an A and R for the company, they had to deal with it. All the so clearing. None of that, whatever the settlement was, came out of my pocket and then come to find out they actually owned the company that oh, that sued them. So wow. it was just like an internal Yeah. But I didn't have to pay, so I'm still smiling. Did, 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 did you feel bad back then for De La Soul? They had such a big album, and then mm -hmm. they, they, all that shit, man, they, they got sued for it. They, 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 I think there was no clearing rules back then. Yeah, so, I, I feel bad for any artist that lose money. They lost a whole album, right? Like, yeah. Was it like a whole album type Yeah, shit? I, I feel bad for you any one artist. one song. Like one right. song you didn't clear, but a whole right. album? That's no, classic? That's, that's torture, bro, because Dang. the game is already designed Fuck. to keep the artist broke. Mm. Give you the million dollar advance. Oh, yeah. we're eighty five fifteen. Well, when the money comes in, we're still taking our cut. That eighty five is not going toward your balance. Your little fifteen is going towards your million. So wow. it's gonna take you twenty years to pay that shit off. So it's <laughs> all designed for you to be fucked off, man. And so that's why I'm glad I was independent and sold millions of records prior to signing my deal because I had leverage to say I want this kind of split. Mm. I want this kind of advance. And I still did what the fuck I wanted to do while I had a major label deal. That's why You're not going to tell me who I can do a song that's with. It's crazy how Houston really like fucking revolutionized like that independent right. shit. Like, we learned from rap a lot and Jay Prince. Salute. Like they taught mm -hmm. us everything. How to spend your own money, market. So like, we're we, we, lucky, man. We, 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 you don't even need to be signed now. Yeah. They hey, got kids bro. out there like getting Maybach's and they they, they they put their own shit out. Hey, they they dance winning. Or they just they shoot a nigga or some dumb shit. <laughs> Straight like, up. Like, they so like get like a million streams. You know, no. right now, if you have a hit record and you independent, you good. No, for hey, sure. That's why I'm smart. I linked up with a legend. You know, he's been maneuvering in the game all these years. So, you know, I feel like your network. Your network is what equals your net worth. So I got a mm. good network, and we're making classic songs. So we got some big stuff in the works. Y'all got a joint album together, or are you, we or you might, helping them? We might do one right now. What's 333? What's that? That's my angel number. Oh, okay. Yeah, but oh, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm big into threes. My, oh, wow. I'm born March 3rd, so I'm 3-3, three, three, right? My angel number's 3-3, three, three, so I dropped the album called 3-3, three, three, you know, so... I'm just big on on, on the threes. I mean, Noah's Ark wanted twos. I want I want everything in threes. I mean, this is a dumb question. You ever had like three girls at the same time? <laughs> oh man, I mean, you know, three thirty, you know, three hundred thirty. Just the two is enough for me. I'm like, yo, bro, my we, back. You know, we, 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 <laughs> gay on my back. <laughs> <laughs> my shit is fucking icy hot on my shit. Hey, how the song go? <laughs> I've had the time of my life. <laughs> Shout out to Shaq with that icy hot man. He said, man. Box. Shout out to Shaq. <laughs> Shout out to Shaq, man. He did a record with my brother uh, Zero, man. Shout out to Zero. Mm, we got Kings of the South right. Part 2 on the way, too. Lil Flippin' Zero, Kings of the South 2 is Fire, on man. the way. Um, shout out to Up Above Media, man. I'm the president over there. Me and OG mm. Ron C. He the GM. Wow. So we we about to find some talent wow, 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 and do wow. some dope shit. We got a million dollar studio in Houston. Like, dope. So we go, we go, we go talk about that off the oh, air. Yeah, but uh, yeah, you know, yeah. we got, we got. Some, we, it's time to pick up the pick up where we left out, brother. Who kid drop on there? Keep it. Let's go. Hey. Speaking of who kid drop, you know Drake. Put me on one of his disc records yep, and stuff. Yep, I, I heard it. Crazy, I know Houston heard it. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> boy, I heard that. Who 
okay. I'm like, okay. Hey. <laughs> Brought me back to the. I'm like, yeah. Yo, uh, you know, there, 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 there's some people out there. I'm cool with them too. They they, they feel Drake is kind of like a, a, a culture vulture of Houston. But I thought Houston, I thought J. Prince Jr. and all them signed him or something. Yeah, ja- Jazz. Uh, so I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. I, I don't. Yeah, Jazz Prince. I, mm-hmm. I don't understand like where the culture vulture stuff come from. Where they're the ones that gave you the doorway to pop right, off. Right, like, Drake right. Drake popped off because of Houston. You know yeah, now saying? everybody got their own de- opinions on how that shit go, you know? Mm-hmm. What I've learned, I learned how to stay out that shit. Like, if the shit ain't got nothing to do with me, I stay out of it, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, sorry, I, I'm not going to see a little flip like, they're not like us. Like, you see, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I stay out, the, I stay out <laughs> this shit, man. Like, when people be trying to ask me, hey, what do you think about the beef? I don't. Yeah. I, I took media training. Look, I have my... <laughs> I have my shares uh, of, of beef. Look, that shit can get real, so yeah. I don't take no sides in none of that shit. That's how I stay. You I have beef mu- experience too, yeah, so you yeah, understand that. Yeah, so do I. Yeah, so, so I've been with Fifty Cent for like all my life, man. Oh, so we know oh, we know man. how to move though. And, and, and me and Fifty, we think alike. You know, yeah. we we've been through similar shit. You know, Fuck so that. so it's kind of like you know. With that said, yeah, man, we I'm gonna stay out the way, but you know, we always prepared. We militant. I mean, you know, bro. I mean, you don't have to be gangster. You just gotta be smart. Man. There we go. You see? Hey, man, can I get an amen, <laughs> hey, dog? Because I mean, you that? smartness going with logic over emotion. That's what my man, dad taught man. me. Usually, you know, I've seen so many young kids die for like dumb shit. Like, Pride. And then it's funny because. Uh, you know, me and Fat Joe's like really good friends now. Right. But back then, they were trying to kidnap me. Possibly kill me. I don't know Damn. because of the Junior beef. Mm-hmm. But now we're at fucking Nobu eating and shit. You know, I met him in Nobu. We talked, and I was like, "Yo, I never thought the day right that <laughs> me and Fat Joe right. Terror Squad." Is having a fucking like sushi right. and enjoying like, and we're talking about like all that MTV shit. Him and Fifty's like good friends now, right, and I'm telling sure. him like, "Yo, imagine we just like." Just illogically, just linked up, and we just like shot at each other or fucked right. each other up, or, right? And then one of us die. It would have been for nothing, right? And like, I'm pr- I'm proud when I saw that, like when I, when I see know. when I see like us, you know, minorities like mm-hmm. able to have problems and years later sit down and talk and squash this shit and eat. That show maturity. Some people might not agree with it and all mm-hmm. that, but at the end of the day. I was proud to see that, the moment to see 50 and Joe, because I fuck with Joe, you know, as well, yeah. man. So that's why I said the rap bit, beef and battle shit, man, it's all competition. And to see when Fifth and, you know, Jada got cool, you know what I mean? Like, we have beef to, with everybody. You, you, can nah, laugh, you can sit back everybody. and laugh at this shit. Like, you know what? We survived that shit, man. Now we all making millions and billions and all that kind of shit. So I was proud of that moment, man. That's dope. They sampled the shit out of your fucking songs, all the new guys and shit like that. How yeah. does that feel? Like, you know, you got Corey. Is there is there a classic sample that you're gonna do over? From, Who knows, man? I, know. I, I might not pick clear. One of his hits I might not clear for him. Nah, but, but, you you know, gotta I pick one of his before. bangers and do that shit over. <laughs> But like Janae, they did they redid Sunshine, yeah. Tiger, Janae, Pop Smoke, R.I.P. to Pop Fire. Smoke. Wow. And I just I had just got put on Pop Smoke music like a couple months before he passed. I had saw him doing an interview with Angie Martinez. Wow. And I watched that and that then I went and too, listened to his music and then I I got an artist named Jay Bird. He from Haiti. Mm. Um, but he he stayed in Jersey. He was born in Haiti and moved to Jersey. Now he stay in H Town. And he was he was like, yeah, nah, man, pop the shit, you know. And then that's how I got on Five EO foreign mu- music. Like I fuck with like his music is hard. I, I fuck with that mm. shit. So I hate Pop Smoke. Life got cut short because, dude, his energy and what he was bringing to the game, his voice and just. He wasn't afraid to be him, man. I I hate his life got cut short, man. But yeah, shout out to Tiger, Janae, and Pop Smoke. They rapped on the sunshine. I'm in the video, oh, and uh, it's making me money. I love that underground legend, man. I can't believe it's been twenty some years. Twenty two 20, years. Twenty two years, man. Yeah, they gave me twenty two million for that deal. It makes sense. Wow, <laughs> holy shit, damn. My son is like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> My son about to get some lead, man. These kids be doing all kinds of shit now. Lead ain't shit. <laughs> they be on the perk thirties and the yeah, and it's too much fun. No, it's crazy, man. I'm glad I never got into pills. Can you like believe I, that there's, there's like drugs out there that's like like numbers, like TH sixty eight. <laughs> 
point two. Like, yeah. what? Yeah, <laughs> crazy. TACA, Delta 88, <laughs> Delta 99, <laughs> Delta Airlines, Delta your hairline. <laughs> well, I got a little flip up here. It's, it's safe to say that you, I mean, you you warn kids about, like, the lean culture too, man. Like, yeah, I, I tell yeah. people that, man, don't, don't. Let's make it, we're not going, this is like a, yeah. uh, your own shit, you know. It's like Wiz. Wiz smokes, like, all day, every Correct. day. He could do that. You know right, for sure. You understand? He's rich. You can do whatever the fuck you want. But Correct. at the end of the day, he's smart with it. You're smart with right. this shit. But Correct. you also will tell the kids, like, you know, chill. Nah, nah. You don't need to do it, and you don't need to overdo anything. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to be focused. My dad, he used to always tell me when he see people smoking, and he'll be like, man, y'all brave to walk through this world high. Mm. And I be, I used to be like, what, what does that mean? He's like, and then once I started living and seeing all the shit that go on, but for me, when I smoke, like I'm one of the people, because I took martial arts and we used to train drunk and high, mm. so if we ever got into some shit drunk and high, our reaction time wouldn't be slow. Because you know, the average person, if they oh, take yeah. nine shots and then it's a fight in the club, oh, That's they're fighting. They're like, oh, really? They're moving in mo. slow motion. Yeah. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> really? Man, I'm going to be like Flash. Like, oh, they fight, we out. We gone, nigga. If you, you you could take two, you could be you go get left, nigga. We in the car already, nigga. Let's go. So, yeah, to each his own. You really gotta have a strong a strong mind to snap out of that shit. So I just stick with the smoke and the, you know what I'm saying. Yo, but you know, no homo. You look cool, man. Some people be missing teeth and yeah, fucking, hey. their, their face be fat and man. shit. I gotta say on? this about him. He's the only one I know. He could sip, smoke, and stay up yeah. all night. Wake up two yeah. hours of sleep and still be going. I'm like, man, how the hell do you do that? I'm Name for it, bro. <laughs> I, I had to do the stuff that I had to do to get my name out with DJ Screw traveling, yeah. packing crates, passing our flyers, waiting my turn, doing shows, just everything that I had to do. Coming to New York, okay, I, I got to try to take over New York. I got to mm. rap with the best. I, I had to rap with 50. I had to do freestyles with Lloyd Banks and Who mm. Kids and do a lot of music with Dipset. Like, you got to fuck with the people if you want people to respect you. As the people, you have to be seen rapping next to these people and hold your own. And right. one thing motherfuckers know about Flip, man, he go hold his own. He go say some shit, don't need a pen and pad. We go have fun. I'm going to keep that ice. And the women go look right. And I ain't going to sell my soul. And vice versa, too. Yeah. Like, like we, we needed him. Man. Shit, we, we did freestyles with everybody's beats, man. Right. From Slim Thug to this guy Jay-Z was like, Taking your instrumentals back to New York. <laughs> <laughs> Remixes of Jay Z, dude, man. Uh, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For real. Well, he got Beyonce. He took he took Beyonce from y'all. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's all good, yeah, man. Just, shout just, out you Jay Z. Know, and shout Beyonce. out to B2, man. She I put love me on Beyonce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Jay, man. Yeah, man. Put me on one of them Super Bowls, man. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't yeah, need no pen and pad real. either, man. You, <laughs> you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, if I mean, I don't know if, if it's ever going to happen, like, like Super Bowl in Houston. Well, if that happens, they got to bring bring all of y'all out, man. That would be, like, disgusting. Well, you know we have the most famous yeah. Super Bowl ever. That happened already, right? You know we had a Super Bowl, I think, once already. You know what happened, right? You got to tell me. I'm, I'm, I, I don't really want to say it on camera, but we'll just say. Oh, that's the one with the it, titty? There we go. Oh, oh shit. He said that <laughs> I, know, I was with Jan Jackson the other day. Yeah, I was, yeah, like, I was like, trying to look. I was like. Yeah, hey. we, we got the most epical, you know, one. I was like, control. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's my favorite Super Bowl. And then the second one was <laughs> the one that just happened, you know, with, with oh, Fifth yeah. and Dre. Like, I, I think that was super dope, Good bro. point in time. I, I You know, it's kind of cool because I kind of, like, robbed them and them songs back in the days, and then I, they wanted to kill me. Then I wind up, like, being in a golf cart with him, going to the Super Bowl, yeah, watching him perform. So that, that's why I be telling people, like, it may look crazy now, but – it could happen the next week or years later. Right. Everything switches up, man. Your For value real. is defined on how you fucking control how people fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I tell people it's, all the time. It's, it's all about like stocks. You go up stocks. and down, up yes. and down. And then if, if if they see that you're worth for them forgiving you, right? Then you did it. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I work at Shea 4 5. Eminem is my boss. You here. You right. Know, Eminem shit, man. No, for sure. <laughs> for sure. And the right. crazy that serious, you know, about, you know, XM and all that. And then I, I used to have a show on XM Radio with Leo G. Oh, yeah, that's for right. Real. Oh, shit. I, I had, forgot about that. I had shit. Clover G Radio. We had two million <laughs> listeners. I was on for like two years. So shout out to Leo G. Like, so 
That's what I'm saying. And that's why I train the people around me about planting the seeds, bro. I'm Hollywood, not Hollywood, man. Yeah. Because I'd rather help the underdogs because they go keep it more thriller and realer than people that got power. Like, mm. a lot of people treat promoters and people that spend money with them like trash. Me, I want the customer to be happy. Okay, you cool? A promoter booked me for a 30 minute set. I'm going to give him 40. I'm going to give him 45. Mm. I'm going to give you a little bit extra. That walker flocker shit. You know why? Because. I love music for starters, mm -hmm. and then second, like I want you to feel great about booking me and spending money with me, and you could have did anything else with your money, but you decided to spend it with me. Exactly. So I'm gonna show you appreciation, and then when you go deal with all them other artists that don't want to take a picture with you and treat you like shit, you go come back to flip and be like, man, man, dude wouldn't even take a picture with me, man. We want to book you again. Everybody loves you here. It's all about community. And then guess what you do? See you. You love me, right? Pay me just a little bit more, you know. That's just it. give me a little bit more, and they guess what they it. say? Okay, cool. And I so you it. plant them seeds, bro. Yeah. People will bring you back, bring you back a revolving door, and that's why this guy crazy, man. Yeah, that's why I'm able to cons consistently eat yeah. because I do great business. I want to make sure you're happy. Everybody got their pictures. Everybody mm. cool. Then the ninja disappears back into the shadow. Yeah, then that's it. You be like, whoop. yeah. <laughs> That's uh, me. Is it like a, a a jelly or something that they go with? Like, you know what I'm hey, that should be fucking like lit, Batman. Yo. Back to the Batcave, <laughs> man. Shit. So, uh, I'm, they're telling me 24, 25, like end of uh, this album that you guys cooking up uh, around that time or the project yeah. EP. What was up? We got we get ready to drop a remix to start it from the bottom. Um, Who's I, on there? I ain't gonna say who owned it because we ain't got the verse back yet. Big name though. Big yeah, yeah, a, a big name, man. Uh, I, I want to get it. I want to get it done first before I get to. I've learned in this industry, you yeah, say the shit. shit before you get it done. Yeah. Then everybody go be like, "Hey, what? Where, where, what's going on?" Mexican and, OT. Man, nah, it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not. That's my nigga. Hey, but, but we need to put he, something he, together. But, yeah. I'm been telling him. But, but he used OT. To, man. Yeah, we gonna do something with Mexican OT. That's my nigga. But, but this guy, he. he I ain't gonna say because if I get <laughs> if I was got no, 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 I was gonna say who he used to be signed to, but if I say oh, that, yeah, then, yeah, he go no, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I ain't gonna know. say shit, but I will say, Jay the Kiss, I'm still waiting on my verse. Lean on me for my hey. movie soundtrack, though. I'm waiting on that. He promised me that when I was on Drink Champs. You like, know, it's funny you brought some shit up, shit up like that. Um, before you even go. A lot of like you know I know like all the legends like Ice Cube and Easy E all these guys. They, I, you know who did you used to hang out with that don't make sense? Like I used to see Easy E with like like DJ Premier. Like what the right. fuck is that about? Like right. who, who you used to hang out with that was weird? Like, like another Man. coast. I was like you, you know what I'm saying? Man. You see these photos of like these classic old photos of like people you would never think. Especially back then we had the East Coast mm -hmm. West Coast beat, but a lot of West Coast artists was hanging with a lot of people. Right. right. So, like like Snoop was with Biggie. No, for sure. Like so, I, I was, I used to be with Selena a few times. Really? Like, yeah, yeah. Before she died, I, I'm, I'm cool. Wow. With, I'm cool with her dad and um, Ad. Wow. Um, like Devin the dude. Um, That's my nigga. Yeah, what? Snoop. Um, Ice Cube. Um, a lot. Of, I spent the well, well. You said like who's the weirdest? The, like, the weirdest. Like the, the weirdest. Uh, like, Willie Nelson. Oh, that's that, my nigga though. But yeah, well, Willie's kind of like a Snoop Dogg. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I used Everybody to hang with Willie Nelson, man. Willie if, if Nelson. Lucky, if you lucky, yeah, I got yeah, 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 man. Willie Nelson. <laughs> that's I true. Get there. Yeah, it's like it's like Lil Flip and like a mob, like you and Prodigy. Prodigy like, you with know, some weird right. shit, like mm -hmm. R.I.P. to Prodigy yeah, too. R.I.P. Prodigy, man. You know, because I was looking at these. I was trying to find like you know they always have like your photos like. You mm -hmm. and some widow, like some. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I'm just trying to find. I'm trying to let you tell me who the hell was the weirdest man, like a producer or like. It don't make sense. Yeah, even I didn't, if nothing happened after, like yeah, I, I didn't up. really hang. I only hung out mainly with the people you know, like the pimp C's and yeah, okay. my my comrades, like back then. Mm. And then when I I started going like even further worldwide, then I started networking with everybody. But I didn't really hang out with too many people. I you was look, so I was about my money and my business. You like Rakim, man. Rakim didn't hang with nobody. <laughs> I was like, damn, Ra, man, nobody. Like he, and he and he moved to like L. A. Right. Still didn't hang with nobody. I was right. like, he was like. I'm the God, the God, the God MC. I was like, all right, man, I guess so, man. Like, it's so weird, man, out there, man. Man, so, you, are you school. here? 
Huh? You, are you 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 here? I've been in L.A. and Vegas a lot. Okay, okay. But I came here because uh, I I do a lot of AEW shit. Okay, you know, like WWE yep. and TNA. I do wrestling shit. Yeah. So I got a show with Fifty Cent Friday. Some okay, festival out here. And okay, and uh, Saturday I go to London at the Wembley. Eighty thousand crazy white people wrestling. I'm DJing the whole. I did it last year, but they got right. me again this What's year. What's that lady named Jada? Jada Parker. What's her name? She wrestled Jada something. Ooh, uh, you talking about Snoop's? Snoop's? Nah, it's a, she's a wrestler. Jada Park, some something, something oh, like. Oh, she raps. She wrestles. Oh, she wrestles. Oh, okay. yeah, Jada. I forgot her name. I follow her on Instagram. Oh, really? Like, yeah, she dope. I forgot oh, her man. name, but I I'm follow like, her. I'm old school, man. I'm like oh, junkyard dog. Junkyard dog. Fucking, Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, you know, Andre the Giant man. and shit like that. Not for sure. They, I mean, they know who I am, so I, I, I leave it at that. Stay <laughs> less. Stay <laughs> less. Yeah, yeah, nah, she bad. She bad, man. I'm, a, I'm a fan of her. Yeah. So what's the bucket list, man? Like for for your boy here, because every time I interview somebody next year, there's something else, man. I don't right. know, you could be Illuminati. Never, <laughs> you might be like, never. No, man, yeah, we ain't selling our like soul. A gold hoodie, no with Illuminati, ice and diamonds. Yeah. you know, everybody what's your that comes list? in, usually you, you you look good and you you look like you popping mm. right now, right? right? But I get everybody when they're dead broke, dirty t shirt. From the pop smokes, so yeah, right. I have like levels. If you see all my old interviews, you right. see they come first, and then the second interview they got a little change. The third interview, now they made it. Yeah, so I already have like yeah. a timeline videos I'm doing now. With right, everybody so coming through. what's but, I'm where a, you gonna be at, man? I'm Let me know now. This, I'm gonna speak this into existence right now. I already see it in my mind, you know, manifestation, visual uh, visualization. Lil Flip gonna be in a green suit, walking me out at the CMAs and presenting me with my CMA in front of the world. Holy gonna shit. have a gonna have a major hit with Jelly Roll. Shout out to Jelly Roll, Ooh. and we will be at the CMAs. I promise you that. Ooh. See like, ya. I look remember, I said it right here. <laughs> DJ Lil <Luke> Kid. <laughs> Flip will be walking me out to my CMA. I gotta be there now. I gotta yeah, be there. And DJ Who Kid gotta be there too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just need Court Digger to flip him like straight up <laughs> on TV. Yeah, there and, you go. And, and my bucket list is what I said on Drink Champs with Nori. Mm. I want to do a song with Sade. Wow. And, look. and Jada Kiss. See? That's dope. I did a playlist earlier, and the first song I played was Sade, hey. Cherish the Day. That's like crazy. literally, so that's my bucket list. I need to do a song with Chade and Jada Kiss, and Jada Kiss promised me my verse on Drink Champs. Nori Let's Facetimed go. him. Look, I need that verse, Jada Kiss. You, <laughs> you, Jada Kiss and MJG is like my favorite rappers in Eminem. You know what I'm saying? And Fabulous. You know what I'm saying? And Banks. Like when it comes to them punchlines. Yeah, like I need that verse, Jada. <laughs> yeah, I need that. <laughs> my dog. Yo, that's crazy. You shout out Sade. I got the Sade shit. On. Yeah, now that's that's my favorite singer. Yeah. My mom put me on Sade music. I love Sade. Cherish you know? today. What's your favorite Sade record? Um, Mine is Cherish today. Um, the 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 jazzy one where um, uh, smooth uh, smooth operator smooth operator. Okay, uh, she's a smooth. And then there's another one where it's like five. <laughs> I'll let the fans figure it out. Yeah, No Ordinary Love and Cherish Today is my favorite, even though those two beats sound alike. That's why I hate Jay-Z. He's the only one that did a song with Sade. Man, damn. The only rapper that did a song with Sade. Shit, man, I need to change that. Sade, I love your music. I was jamming you since I was yeah. a kid. <laughs> Hopefully I saw, that helps. <laughs> I saw her in London, and then she's like in her 60s. Still looks yeah, the same. Still look the same. I, now, that's, like, I be on that vampire shit too, uh, like meaning like, you know, let shit, me find out. Let me crack. find out. Little, little no Flip is a clone. Ah oh, man, <laughs> hey, I, 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 hey, I drank a lot of water. <laughs> no and no. I practice great karma. <laughs> but, but I'm not a clone. This is me. Uh, you survived man. the game. Do you believe in like the 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 some out there controlling everything going on? Like you know, I don't want to see you in them YouTube videos. Like little oh, Flip joined like a cult, or some shit. Or, I feel like yeah, yeah, Illuminati never. Shit. Yeah. I feel like if you allow yourself <laughs> to get, you know. Trapped in that world and be influenced. I, I believe in God. I keep God in what I do mm -hmm. every day. I don't love money. You can't lure me with money. If the energy ain't right, I'll walk away from a billion dollar deal. Like So mm -hmm. for me, I don't let money dictate every move I exactly. make. So I'm going to make it regardless. If, it's, if it take me a little bit longer to win my Grammy, mm -hmm. that's cool. As long as I don't got to do no weird shit to get it, <laughs> I'm, I'm with it. Little flip. Yeah. Little flip like, what? 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 <laughs> 
Nope. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing weird to get no accolades because you know, you, you've heard those stories. Right? I've heard those stories. Okay, okay. I want to make sure. Heard the man. stories. Yeah. Know people who was hey. involved in the stories. Yeah. And don't want to be a part of the stories. You never been in a party. You're like, oh shit, I'm in the wrong party. Like, oh. I, I've never been in. I've been in wrong parties because of like the type of people. Like that you went was with there. somebody, and you're like, oh shit, like. Yeah, I've seen some questionable people that had reputations <laughs> for doing shit, but wow. they never, uh, you know, like big artists. Like you'd be like, nah. I I, I know I know all of them though. Yeah. I, I want to hear. Well, from I'm speaking you. to you. I know all of them. Let me, I know let all. Let me hear them. the Illuminati story. No, you I know all. Hear that on air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 I took, took media <laughs> training. Like, yeah, this is so where good. I say, <laughs> hey, shut his mic off. Hey, give him your social. <laughs> Lean on me. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Yo, before no we even get out of here, let's get out of that. Before we walk outside, and man, here's like silence is like, hey, <laughs> like, for <laughs> real. I'm like, you got a red dot on your head too. Man, you know man. what I'm saying? Uh, you know, that boy. biggie shit. <laughs> <laughs> the Leprechaun uh, cover. Who edited that? Who did that? Everybody okay. be bugged out with that cover. Who man. did that cover? So my favorite series, Lucky Charms. I love the Leprechaun. I'm born in March. Everybody born in March. Mm -hmm. We love St. Patrick's Day. So this has been my shit since I was younger. When I was doing my solo album, my graphic guy, R.I.P. the Black Cat, he mm -hmm. used to work for Pen and Pixel. Then he made his own company. He designed like shit for Willie D and Flavor Flav covers. Oh, wow. Yeah, Black Cat. Uh, he passed away. So I said I wanted to be on the, you know, I wanted to look like my favorite cereal. And he said, I'm going to switch it up. And, you know, we added different stuff, took different words, put Cloverland, made it about me. Mm -hmm. So I gave him my concept, and I I usually draw my album covers, who kid? Really? I'll draw them, and then I'll send them the sketch, and oh, then they bring it to life. So oh. I gave him the skeleton, and shit, we made gelatin. Wow, that's crazy. Yeet. You know why I asked? Because I did all the mixtape covers back in the days. I used to give, like, Nojo all the ideas and yeah. designs. Because, like, you know, you can't let a creative guy Think for you, so I yeah I drew, I would draw. Remember, like I used to like straight up. Like I need Fifty Cent with two guns here. And right, I need like Banks with a Uzi in the back. Like, yeah, so it's cool that you hear shit like that. How shit was I always. I'm an artist. Yeah. I, I paint. I paint. I paint shoes, canvases, all that shit. So I'm real hands on with this shit. Who kid? I mm. mix my own music, record myself. You know, we mm. we one man gang. Like we don't need nobody. It's great to have people, but. You put me in the studio, I'm going to record myself, mix my shit, bounce it, stem it out, you know. Crazy. Yeah, you know how we do it, bro. You know, we, we build like this. I got a question for uh, Corey, though. Like, I hang with Billy Ray Cyrus. Why is it every time I go to his crib, he's always, like, cooking rice with fucking fish, like, a little bit of rice. Like, he'd be like, <laughs> hey. like who can I'm going to come and cook a little fish with a little bit of rice. Like, hey, what, what, what's you know this what? fish and rice thing? Like, I can't I can't tell you that, but it's funny because I've been on a pescatarian diet. You see what I'm and saying? so like, he's always like, man, you want fish? That's, a, that's the main thing I'm eating. So I don't know why he does it, but I feel good, though. It's healthy for sure. That's crazy. I, I got cool with him because I wanted to meet uh, Molly Cyrus, but, but they got beef. Uh, I never met Molly. Man. I'm so tight right now. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I don't fuck with him no more. You know what I'm saying? Oh, damn. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. That's my boy, man. Let's get to this record. We're going to play this and any exclusives that Lil Flip is going to give me, and I'm going to have my son go online and try to get some leaks. But other than that, what let's you need? Get, <laughs> yeah, some leaks. Yeah, some yeah, new I'm, shit. I'm going to give you my new number. You can okay. text me, and then we're going to. Is this a whole now? Let's go. Weekend. Let's flip it. Let's you know let's pick it back up where we go. And and my bro, man, my bro Dice Soho. He said, "Oh my god!" He said, "Shout out to N word." He yeah. just texted me. He says, "He say shout out to." He like a younger version of you. Man, that's my guy. I'm I'm helping him. He doing reggaeton now. So oh really? I'm about to help him with oh, his okay. with his his shit. Like with this new position that I got over here. And he he just texts me. He, he say tell who kid shout. You know he said what up. He didn't say shout him out. He said tell him I said what up. He brought me out to Thailand last yeah, year. Yeah, he, he performed on my set in Thailand. Yeah, that's fire. That's Tom, I said uh, some chick gave me giraffe the other day. You know man, saying, man, straight the fuck up. <laughs> straight up. <laughs> man. Yo, little Flip, man. We about to do this mix right here. So whatever songs he gives me, we're going to have a whole flip. We're going to flip the script today. All mixes with this classic. And we about to right do here. that. We about to do that. And you already know one of the, oh, the yeah, songs. One of the songs is going to be the, the freestyle Me 50 and Banks did on Like a Pimp. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's Come definitely going to be in there Let's along go. with that song, Ooh. So Long. Yeah, so we about to have some fun with it, bro. Thank you. I'm proud of you, your longevity. Proud of you too, man. We still here.
Yeah, and we gonna stay here. Yeah, court got, digger, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Speaking of Illuminati, yeah, we court. Oh, oh man, man God damn, man. God Slam damn, dunk man. on that. <laughs> <laughs> But now, nah, thank you, Who Kid, man. My God. Started from the bottom is out. Y'all check it out. The video is out. Lil Flippin' Zero Kings of the South Part 2 is on the way. Word than Wesley out. Mm. Exotic Pop, we going strong. We miss you, Big Pokey, Big Hawk, Pimp C. Mm. And uh, we miss you, B-King. We go hold it down, man. I don't give a fuck how many records I sell. I ain't going to never stop coming to New York. In New York, I want to thank y'all for embracing me and showing love to me and allowing me to show y'all that... In Houston, we got some artists that don't just only rap about candy, pain, and popping trunks. Like, yes. I, game over. If you really want to know, I made game over for New York. Wow, it was yeah. like, I was like, I got to make some shit yes. for New York to know we can spit. So that whole song is like me letting New York know. Like, nah. It was in everybody's cars, man. The systems, we had this, the system. Man. That whole, I mean, Houston took over and right. still popping to this day. But back then, System, system, that whole system wave. Man. You had to have that in your car. Nah, brother, thank you. So I, I, I fuck with New York, man. I take music serious, man. And all the legends, you know, Cool Herc and Shy Rock and all the people. We seen Heather B and Sway earlier. Oh, wow. We thank y'all for what y'all did. The Red Alerts, the Air Lovers. Lord Sear, what's Lord up? Lord Sear. Yes. Yeah, everybody, man. Rude you, all the motherfuckers, did man. Did you pour lean inside Lord Sear's hole in his neck? I uh, mean, you know, you know, you know, you know. Allegedly. Like, <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> you know. And I got to say, what he's up? been he's been doing it for... He's been doing it for a couple decades, but Lord this Sears is a this legend, is, man. I yeah, he's beginning of mine. Because uh, his his uh, counterpart, which is Stretch Armstrong, is a reason. Yep, Stretch. I got into radio. Yep, I you remember Stretch. Yeah, it's a combination of Stretch Armstrong and the World Trade Center coming down. Man, that's how I got my. Job. I was supposed to that's fly crazy. to and you didn't come New York down. on September 11 when it happened to wow. to talk to a label, and at the last minute I got to the airport, and I was like, you know what? Oh. I didn't want to go. I didn't go. But my business partner at the time went, and then we couldn't get in touch with him because all the phones was messed yeah. up, and we didn't know what happened. We was like, oh, then we found out he was cool. But then the next year, the anniversary of 9-11, Benny Siegel hit me, and he wanted me to rap on a song about drink. Like, I can't leave drink alone. Like, oh. he had a record, but he ended up putting Bun B on it. But he wanted me to fly <clears throat> to New York on 9-11 anniversary, and I was like, Beans, man, I, know, I, I was supposed to come there on the first yeah. time it happened. And yeah. God told me at the last minute not to go. So I, I was like, man, can we do it the next day? He's like, I got to turn the album in. I'm like, I'll fly on any day but that day. That's one of my biggest regrets. Yeah. I wish I would have just still flew. But, man, I had to go with my spirits. Just imagine you're supposed to go somewhere. And the last minute you say, I don't want to go. And then towers crash. And then somebody tells you to fly a year late on the anniversary. Nah. I was like, bro, you know, but <laughs> man, much. that's the only regret I got when it comes to re the music, bro. But um, thank you for having me, brother. I'm going to go get on this flight and go back to the H and eat yeah. some Papa yes, and Trill Burgers. Yeah, shout out to uh, Bum B, yo. Yeah. I don't know, you guys in Houston with your 200 degree weather, man. Man. My fucking underarms are so spicy. <laughs> <laughs> the, the chick I had, her makeup on her chin was melting. Damn. I was like, yo, oh, how do y'all live there, man? It's like, like getting AC, cremated bro, out there. I'm speaking of the airport, I'm on my way to the airport, then it's like the end of the world. It just became night. Yeah. This is like five <laughs> o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> The Texas storm was so was. crazy. It yeah. was like a hurt. It was like a, a tornado mm -hmm. type storm, and I'm like, "Yo, I'm not leaving." But then it just like cleared, cleared in like up. 40 minutes. I stay in the house, Texas like unless weather. I gotta be. We we stay in the why AC. Why is it like 130 degrees? I in don't. Houston? I don't fucking know. But that's why we love our AC. If I had to pick lights and AC, I'm gonna be in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. <laughs> Shout out man, to Houston, man. With a generator, like a motherfucker. Nah, but thank you, brother, man, for everything, Good looking, man. man. Hey, hey, yeah, and this is this is one of my first major interviews. So oh, to yeah, be here go, in man. New York yeah, with man. DJ Destroy and Who Kid, of course, man, and where got, so much history is happening, man. man, it's a blessing. Thank y'all for having me. Yes, sir. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all know Lil Flip. Y'all gonna know Corey with the keys. Started from the bottom yep. and. DJ Who Kid and Lil Flip gonna be walking me out to the CMAs. Oh yeah, remember soon. that. Remember Let's you said. Let's do it. Let's go. Love, brother. My guy. Love, Thank, Thank you, you Who Kid. Love, love y'all, man. Oh, love you, man. Hey, <laughs> got me leaning over. Hey, hey leaning. straight the fuck up. <laughs> to the hey, airport, you know, to the wall. Yes, <laughs> sir. Janet Jackson's titty. Hey, time. Let's go. Janet Jackson's nipples. Man, Super Bowl. <laughs>